previous video we looked at the standard lasso tool here inside of Photoshop Elements. Now in this tutorial we'll focus all of our attention on the third and altogether different lassoing tool, the magnetic lasso. So I'm going to start things off by introducing you to this document on screen called Magnetic Lasso Test Track, which consists of a black circle and then two diagonal lines running from the corners. In the next video we're going to use the tool on a photograph, but no need to do that until we understand how the tool actually works, so we're going to use this illustration to work out what's going on with the magnetic lasso. So first things first, let's go ahead and make sure that we've got the tool active by coming over here to the lasso tool in the select group of the toolbox and selecting it and then by clicking on the magnetic lasso tool option down here in the tool options panel. Now the key difference between this tool and the two other lassos we looked at in the previous video is that as we drag with the magnetic lasso the selection outline will stick to areas of high contrast meaning that as we drag around objects like those I have on screen the selection will magnetically attach itself to the lines that are most prominent inside the image. Before we get into the demonstration I want you to come up to the top right side of the tool options panel and give this middle button a click and then I want us to choose the reset tool option which will reset all of the settings of this one specific tool to their defaults. That way we can ensure that you and me are working with a tool that's behaving in exactly the same way. To show you exactly how it works now, I'm going to start a selection by coming to this white area so you can see exactly what I'm doing and then I'll click once and then release. So there's no need to hold the mouse down with this particular tool whilst we're working. Just click once and the tool will lie down its first point and then as you move the mouse around the screen you'll end up laying down more points as well as lying down segments between the points that attempt to snap into alignment with any edges that the tool finds. I'm going to move the cursor around to where we began the selection, lying down points as we go and then when we hover the cursor above the very first point we created, if we can do that, therefore completing the selection outline, you'll see that we get a very small O next to the cursor and that indicates that we can click now to close the selection outline which I'll go ahead and do and you can see that once we do that the magnetic outline complete with points and its path like segments switches into a regular selection outline. Now the reason we got a rather odd result right here is because with the background being pure white and just a few odd lines scattered around inside the image there's no real substance for the tool to find and snap to so this time I'm going to try and align my selection to this black line and I'll do that of course by clicking or hitting control or command D to deselect that area and then clicking first of all on the outer edge of the black line then releasing the mouse of course and now I'm going to drag very slowly around the shape like so and this time we're lying down points that are snapping to the line because we're dragging so close to it. Now I'm going to keep going and when I get to the line that intersects the circle I'm going to then start to drag inwards so in other words I'm going to follow the line towards the center just to clear that up and when I do you'll notice that we have a slight problem with selecting right into this corner. Now I want to put that right because as I've always said if you're going to do a job you might as well do it properly so I'm going to start by zooming into the area so we can get a better view of it and I'll do that by holding down the control key here on the PC that's the command key on the Mac which gives me access to the zoom tool here and I'm just going to click a few times to get myself zoomed in and when I release those keys I've still got the selection path active so I can continue without having to start again. Also I should note that if you want to drag the image around while you're using the magnetic lasso tool you can still use the spacebar dragging trick so just hold down the spacebar and just drag the image around as you please. 
So we've got the image zoomed and panned to where we want it and we've also got our selection still active and available. The trouble is we've introduced a few of these control points that we really don't need. Well that's no problem, we can use the delete key or the backspace key on the keyboard and every time we press delete or backspace we delete a point from the selection outline. So I'll delete all the points that we don't want until we get back to before the corner and now I can carefully move back into the corner area and to ensure we're creating the perfect outline we can manually set a point right here inside the corner by just clicking no need to right click or anything like that just a standard left click and then we can continue following the line like so and as we do and you're just thinking I'm running out of screen to work with as will inevitably happen if we're zoomed in Photoshop will auto scroll the document for us which in my opinion isn't always a good thing because it's going to cause us to lay down a load more points than we actually want so if that happens just go ahead and hit that delete or backspace key like so until you get back all the way to where you were previously and then I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out of the image by this time alt spacebar clicking or if you're on the Mac that would be an option spacebar click and that will take us back to 100% view size another great way of zooming when you've got the magnetic lasso tool active by the way is just to use the plus and minus keys on the keyboard so feel free to experiment with those now say I'm done selecting and I want to create the selection outline and I don't want to drag the mouse all the way back to the start point so instead of that I can either hold down the control key here on the PC that's the command key on the Mac and then just click or I can simply double click with the mouse either way I'll join the point I create when I click to the first point and therefore complete the selection outline just like we have done right here OK, I'm going to hit Control D, that's Command D on the Mac, to deselect that area so I can start again. And I've got a few more things that I want to show you, so I'm going to start a new selection by clicking on this black line to add a point. And I'll start dragging downwards towards the center like I did before, because I want to show you that we can access both the regular lasso tool and the polygonal lasso tool whilst we're working with the magnetic lasso tool and here's how we do it I'm going to hold down the alt or option key and then click and drag with the mouse and now I've converted the magnetic lasso to the regular lasso now to access the polygonal lasso I'm going to simply keep the alt or option keys pressed and I'm going to release the mouse and drag to form a line then I can start to click to set points inside the image and I'll release the mouse again and then drag so this is ideal for having maximum control to select those awkward corners for example once we're done and we want to switch back to the magnetic lasso we simply release the alt or the option key and continue on as normal now instead of finishing this selection off because it's not one that I want to keep or anything I'm going to press the escape key on the keyboard and that will remove all of the points and segments from the document just like so. So that's a very powerful key that one. That will remove everything that we've done so far inside the current selection outline. Well like I said you now have all the knowledge you need to get up and running with the magnetic lasso tool here inside of Photoshop Elements 11. However if that didn't quite do it for you if you want to truly master the tool then I'd recommend joining me in the very next video where we're going to look at all of these options down here in the options bar and assume maximum control for guiding the magnetic lasso tool to the exact same destinations as we want it to go this time though using a full coloured photograph as our demonstration file